times. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Is that how you love Jesus? Amen. That's the measure of His love for us. Amen. Oh, Jesus, thank you so much. How's everyone today? Super blessed. It's good to be in the presence of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's good to be in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. This is overwhelming. <laughs> we cannot understand and we cannot describe how how much joy the Lord gives us every time we come to His presence. In His presence, there is fullness. Walang kulang. Fullness of joy in the presence of God. You know, we cannot uh, discount what the missionaries are doing in those difficult countries, you know. But they are serving the Lord from their own, sometimes from their own resources. They go to many different difficult places in Russia, in China, in the jungles because of the joy they have in their hearts as they serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I encourage everyone continue to serve the Lord. The joy and the victory Amen. and the success is in the presence of God. Second lang po yung mga trabaho natin at business natin. Jesus should be first place if you want to benefit from God. Oh, Jesus should be the first place. Jesus and His work. We are all workers and soldiers of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's start. Say, I am super blessed. I am super blessed. In the name of Jesus. I am highly anointed. In the name of Jesus. I am exceedingly highly favored. Highly favored in Jesus' name. I am smart. I am wise. I am strong. I have the strength of Jesus. I have the mind of Christ. And the wisdom of God. It's warm within me. This afternoon, I will listen to the Word of God. Therefore, I shall be blessed. You will be blessed. Everybody will be blessed. Beyond measure. Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. Come on. Give them a beautiful smile. Tell them thank you for coming again today. You bless my life. You bless my life. Hallelujah. Every year we conduct our baptism in the Holy Spirit and we will conduct today. Amen. I hope your spirits are ready to receive again Amen. the great blessing of God. Amen. This is to continue to put oil, the oil of the Holy Spirit in our lamps. Baka mamaya kasi mga lampa rin niya puputikotitap na praise God. Kaya hindi na kayo excited sa Panginoon. We need to pour in some oil again today to recharge spiritually, to recharge with anointing and power from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's open our Bibles in the book of Acts. Praise God. This is a requirement for every Christian. Ang Christian na hindi baptized ng Holy Spirit. There is no power, there is no enthusiasm, there is no anointing, and there is no desire to serve the Lord. It's the reason why there are some Christians who have no desire to serve the Lord. <clears throat> Acts chapter 1 verse 1 in my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day He was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. After his suffering, he showed himself to these men and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. <clears throat> Do you believe that Jesus is alive? Amen. Amen. It's true. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days. So, talaga namang napakaraming proof na our Lord is alive. Only those who really resist to believe Ang hindi naniniwala. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. So, Jesus is really encouraging people to enter 
the kingdom of God. Ganyan po kabuti ang Panginoon. This is how good God is. Amen. He wants everybody to enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Every time Jesus preaches, He's always talking about the kingdom of God. One next verse tayo. <coughs> Verse uh, 4, on one occasion while he was eating with them, you see, Jesus even ate with them physically, but he has different physical form. This is a glorious physical body. The body that can pass through the walls and the body that will never, ever die. And this is the body promised to us. Who wants that kind of body? Amen. Amen. Body that will never die. Amen. We have it, praise God. Amen. And He gave them this command, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my Father promised. The Holy Spirit is a gift. Amen. Which you have heard me speak about. Next verse. For John baptized with water, but in few days you will be baptized with... Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. So every Christian should be baptized with the Holy Spirit and water. Dapat kompleto tayo. Tell your neighbor, we must be complete. Baptized in water sa October, we will do water baptism again. Amen. Amen. So for those who are new Christians who are not yet baptized, we will baptize you in water. But today you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Amen. The devil cannot steal us. Amen. The devil cannot steal your soul. Amen. Amen. Next. So when they met together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? Not yet, kasi mga chief members wala pa dyan. Hello? Kung ni-restore yan, edi hindi na tayo umabot dyan. God waited for us. Tell your neighbor, God waited for you. God waited for us. Amen. Yes. Amen. God waited for us. Amen. Wala pa si Ate Mitz, sabi ni Jesus, now we will wait for her. Amen. And Kuya Alan, amen. Amen. So when they met together, they asked, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? Not yet. Okay, next verse. He said to them, it is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by His own authority. Huwag kang masyadong matanong. Just live by faith. Amen? Amen. Amen. Diba kasi masyadong kang inquisitive eh. Just believe, sabi ni Jesus. Amen. Eh, sabi na, it's not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by His own authority. So it is the Father who will make the decision. Amen? Amen? When Jesus will come back. Amen. Next verse. But you will receive what? Power. What? Power. 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 Amen. Amen. We will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes Amen. on us. Amen. Power to witness. Power to share the word of God. Power to preach. Power to heal. Amen. The sick, the blind, the crippled, Amen. the lepers, the sick people. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So Jerusalem is our family. Amen. Amen. Judea Amen. is your, you know, outside the family, friends, cousins, relatives. About everyone has a responsibility to witness. Amen. Huwag tayong puro trabaho. Tell your name, huwag kang puro trabaho. There is a priority. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, money will come. Money will come. Money will come. Yung other people kasi, they neglected the work of the Lord and they ran after money. If you run after money without Jesus, you cannot touch money. Mabilis tumakbo yan. Diba? Kuryente, cell phone, uh, money will get out of your hands. But if you put Jesus first and His work, praise God, Jesus will give you a lot of money. Amen. Blessings without effort. Amen. We experience that. Blessings without effort. Blessings without 
really hard effort. So we will become witnesses in Jerusalem, in our families, our Jerusalem, our families, in Judea, our cousins, our friends, our colleagues, office mates, Samaria, the same outer circle, and then to the ends of the earth, kung saan tayo dadatin ang Panginoon. Tell your neighbor, God has a plan for you. So that wherever you go around the globe, dala mo ang gospel. Amen. Amen. You go to Europe, you have the gospel with you. You go to America, to uh, Canada, or Australia, you have the gospel with you. You go to the Philippines, in Mindanao, in Visayas, in Luzon, wherever you go, dala mo ang gospel. Amen. Amen. We can preach the gospel. Why? Jesus is coming back, and He's coming back soon. Amen. Very, very soon. We will continue to do our work. Okay, manage our families, manage our lives, but praise God, our first priority as disciples of Christ is His kingdom. We will continue to push out the kingdom of God for expansion. Amen. We will expand the kingdom of God. So when I'm too young, there is no young or old in this army. Jeremiah says, Lord, I'm too young. God says, don't tell me you're young. Huh? Jeremiah, huh? magagalit ako sa'yo. Oh, Jeremiah was rebuked by the Lord. Amen. There is no retirement here. You can retire from your job, but you cannot retire from the work of the Lord. Amen. Until 99, we will work with Marlon. Amen. 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 <laughs> yes. Walang retirement dyan. Praise God. Ay, Pastor Ben, I work already for 20 years for the kingdom of God. Pwede na ba ako mag-retire? No, no retirement dyan. I've been working for the past 35 years. Walang retirement. Nag-retire na nga ako sa secular job ko. Eh. Ito pa rin sa Panginoon. Walang retirement to. I only just began. Amen. 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 We've only just begun the work of the Lord. Lalaki pa to will expand. Amen. 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 pa kayo ng mga short video ko? Amen. 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 O yung isa, 1,000 na, di 1,000 people na nakapanood ng Casper. 1,200 in just five days. Can you see the power of technology? Amen. And every time I open it, he's continuously preaching. He's not stopping. <laughs> Chris, God, hindi ka ba napapagod? Preach ka pa ng preach dyan. Sabi, oh, look naman, 1,200 nang nakapanood. Maybe kalahati, tumanggap pa. Praise God, that's 500 Amen. people. Amen. Yung iba nasa Balko, yung iba nasa Europe, yung iba nasa Antarctica. <laughs> this is the power of technology and the power of the Word of God. Gamitin po natin, we will use technology to preach the Word of God para walang effort. You can multiply yourself a million times. But how do we do that? We must be always anointed. Amen. Para makagawa tayo ng ganito. Amen. And the Lord is expecting all of us to work to work, to work for His glory. Amen. Next verse. After He said this, He was taken up before their very eyes, before their very eyes. Jesus was taken up by the Holy Spirit and a cloud hid Him from their sight. Talagang unti-unti kumakit pong Panginoon. He ascended to heaven until they could see Him no more. But with their own physical eyes, they saw Jesus alive. Yeah. Amen. Sabi ng mga parisis, ah, ninakaw, ninakaw yung body. <laughs> ninakaw yung body. He's alive. He's been with us for, four, for 40 days. But until now, the Jews don't believe that Jesus is the Christ. Until now. They don't believe that Jesus is the Christ. There are some few Jews who became Christian, but still... Majority of the Jews, they don't believe that Jesus is their Messiah. Na miss na nila ang Messiah nila. They miss their Messiah. Tell your neighbor, don't miss your Messiah. Don't miss your Messiah. He is real. He is the real thing. Amen? Verse 10. They were looking intently up into the sky as He was going when suddenly... Two men dressed in white stood beside them. Suddenly, two angels appeared on their side. Dito yung two angels. Next verse. Men of Galilee, they said, Why do you stand here looking into the sky? 
this same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Babalik si Jesus from heaven to earth. He will come back. And the Bible says He will come back for all those who are waiting for Him. Amen. Amen. Are you waiting for Jesus? Amen. You must be waiting for Jesus. Amen. He will come back for all those who are waiting for His coming back and He will take those who are working. When He comes back, He sees His servant is working for Him. That's the people whom He will take to heaven. Amen. Young working Christians. Amen. And how about the non-working? They'll be left behind. They will encounter the Antichrist. They will run away from the Antichrist because, you know, if you are a Christian, of course, you will not accept the uh, mark of the beast, the, the 666. Eh, kaya nangyari sa yan, ayan, kasi you're not working for the Lord. When He comes back, He sees masyado kang busy. Well, like behind ka. Kaya nga, there is no way that we will stop because you will be left behind. Because the Christians will be divided into two. Christians who will be raptured and Christians who will be left behind. Christians who will be left behind will encounter the 666. The Antichrist. The man of the devil. Who wants to sing him? I don't want to sing him. Huh? Because if you see him, meaning to say, you're left behind. <laughs> We are not so concerned about the 666. Why? We'll be in heaven when He appears. Amen. Come on, give Him praise. We will be in heaven before He appears. Amen. And don't worry about that. Yung mga... Yung mga chips na yan, don't worry. Naku, naku, andyan na yung mga chips. Naku, naku, andyan na malapit. Aba, hindi malapit na si Jesus kung andyan na yung mga chips. Pero we will not suffer what those Christians will suffer because we will be taken to heaven sa first bath. Who wants to go on the first bath? Amen. Amen. Okay, start working. And keep working and no stopping until Jesus comes. Amen. Whatever we can do for Him, let's do it. Amen. Whatever we can do, clean the carpet, praise God, clean the Amen. kitchen. We were doing it for Him. Amen. Anything we do for the Lord, Nakikita po ng Panginoon yan. The Lord can say it. As long as you are doing it from your heart, we must be doing something for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Mas kina, tagapunas ka ng mesa ba? You're doing it for Jesus. Amen. Next verse. <clears throat> Then they returned to Jerusalem from the hill called the Mount of Olives, a Sabbath day's walk from the city. Praise God. Okay, they went back to Jerusalem. Let's go to chapter 2 of the book of Acts. So they are staying now in Jerusalem. They were Galileans. Sila po ay mga probinsyano. Ano po? Jerusalem at that time is the city. Yung po yung Manila. That's Manila. But these people are from the province. Sabi ng Lord, stay in Jerusalem. Don't go there yet until you receive the power from the Holy Spirit. Why? Because... Jesus wants them to testify in Jerusalem, in the city first, before they go out of Jerusalem. Kasi dito maraming tao sa city, si Jerusalem. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. What were they doing? They were all praying, fellowshipping, studying the Word of God, meditating on the Word of God. They are in one place. They are at the upper room. Oh, andun po sila. Next verse. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. Parang ganito lang kalaki po yung apero. No, malita ngayon. They are all there. They are all praying. They're sitting. Talking about Jesus. Talking about what happened during the crucifixion and so on and so forth. Then suddenly, the Holy Spirit came like a wind. Upon next uh, verse. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. So the Holy Spirit now come upon them. They were filled and possessed by the Holy Spirit. 
Before they were filled by the Holy Spirit, they were all afraid. Wala pa silang lakas ng loob. Why? Kasi mga wala pa silang power. They don't have the power yet, so they were all afraid. They were hiding from the Jews. Kasi baka mamaya, ito, ito, susunod na si Pedro. Susunod si Peter, susunod si John. So they were all hiding. But after this, ano po, lalabas na po sila. Next verse. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues. Speaking in tongues. It's not from the devil. It's from the Holy Spirit. Never ever think about that. Now this is from the devil. Amen? Amen. You might commit the unforgivable sin if you say that speaking in tongues is from the devil. Who usually say that? Yung ibang sekta. Now they don't believe in the Holy Spirit baptism and the gift of the Holy Spirit. They are saying that this is from the devil. Paano naman magagaya ng jablo yan? It's from the Holy Spirit nga yan. And uh, paano ka nag-arrive sa conclusion na it's from the devil? How? It's demon-inspired. Because the devil is afraid of speaking in tongues. Why? This is a mystery hidden from the devil. He do not know what we are praying when we pray in tongues. But this is heavenly language. This is heavenly language. Di ba napag-aralan natin, writing on the wall? Amen. Tekel, tekel, mene, mene. Ha? Diba? Parang speaking in tongues din yan, di ba? But this is heavenly language. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. So it's the Holy Spirit who enables us to speak in tongues. And that is one gift of the Holy Spirit. It's one gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Speaking in tongues. It was explained by Paul in the book of Corinthians. The advantages of speaking in tongues. Praise God. Verse 5. Okay, now they were staying in Jerusalem, God fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. Praise God. Next verse. When they heard this sound, the crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard them speaking in his own language. So the the uh, Holy Spirit divided the interpretation of the speaking in tongues to the people. This one is Kapampangan. He heard it in Kapampangan. This one is Bisaya. He heard it in Bisaya. He heard it in uh, Cebuana, so on and so forth. To their own language, they heard the same thing. Glorifying God. Glorifying God and talking about the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the mystery of speaking in tongues. When you pray using speaking in tongues, you are praying according to the will of God, the Bible says. Amen. So sometimes we pray and then you run out of words. You speak in tongues, you pray in tongues. The Holy Spirit will continue your prayer. Amen. And that is a perfect prayer. Praise God. It's a perfect prayer. Because you are praying according to the will of God, according to the will of the Father in heaven. When we are praying in tongues. That's the advantage. And, you know, it's, it's very concise. Po. When you say, when you pray in tongues for five minutes, it's equivalent to maybe an hour of praying in words. It's very concise. Ano po ang um, praying in tongues? Napaka-powerful po niyan. Praise God. So, next verse. Utterly amazed, they ask, Are not these men who are speaking Galileans? Verse 8. Then how is it that each of us hears them in his own native language? See the mystery? Ang bakit kapampangan yung naririnig kong sinasabi nila they're glorifying God in kapampangan? Kenny, Kenny, Abi, Abi. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Sa mga mga pampangan dito, turuan nyo nga kami ng inyong speaking in tongues. Ah, the Joyce. <laughs> ah, Abi Cesar <laughs> But it's good, no? The Holy Spirit interprets, divided the interpretation to different people so that they would know that the kingdom of God is at hand malapit na dumating ang kaharian ng Diyos Amen. It's at hand, praise God Ang importante po na we are baptized by the Holy Spirit. And then Peter preached to them. Peter preached to them on uh, verse uh, 17. 
Let's go to verse 17. This is the uh, preaching of Peter, 17 and 18. Okay, Peter preached to them, and Peter said, In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your young men will see visions, your old men will dream dreams. So Peter continuously preached the word of God to all of them. At sabi po ng Bible, 3,000 people received Christ as their Lord and Savior. Ano po, as a result of this uh, preaching, many, many people, thousands of people received Christ as their Lord and Savior. So when you preach under the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit, this will convict the people and they will receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. Why Jesus? Why Jesus? Because Jesus is the only Savior. Amen. There is no other way or means. It's only through Jesus. Amen. Jesus is the ordained Son of God to become the way to the Father. Walang iba. There is no other name given under heaven wherein man will be saved except the name of Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one, no one, no one can come to the Father except through me. Whatever is your religion, hindi ka makapapasok sa arena ng Diyos, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Except through Jesus Christ. You can be a member of a church, but if you don't have a relationship with Christ, hindi ka rin makapasok. Why? You have no relationship with Christ. You are just a church attendee. Salvation is a very serious thing and it is a very personal thing. Salvation is a very personal thing. Tell your neighbor, this is very personal. Personal po yan. It's a very personal thing that you need to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. The church cannot save you. We can help you point you to Christ, but we cannot save you. Amen. It's only Jesus and you. Amen. Jesus and you. Jesus will save you. If you receive Him as your Savior, as your Master, as your Lord, Jesus will save you. He will enter your heart with the Holy Spirit, praise God, and change our spirit here for the sinful spirit, the dead spirit, you will be born again by the Holy Spirit. Amen. You'll be given a new birth. Amen. Kaya all our spirit now are new, brand new spirit. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, creation of God. New spirit of God is given unto us here in our hearts. But we need to grow. Amen? Amen. We need to grow spiritually so that the newly born spirit in you should mature. And when we mature, that's the time we can fulfill and do what the Lord is asking us to do. Amen, Amen Pop. Amen. We need to mature by attending church, reading our Bibles, obeying everything the Lord is asking us to do, then you will mature as a Christian. Then, magagamit ka na ni Lord. The Lord will be able to use you. Otherwise, hindi ka magagamit ng Lord if you don't know anything, you're not reading the Bible. How can you share the Word of God? You have no anointing. You have no power. You have no knowledge in the Bible. You are you're not uh, well informed about the salvation verses. Ayan na napaka-importante ng SOP natin. Because we study all the salvation verses out there. Twelve ba yan? Diba? We, we can exhort from each one of those verses and lead a person to Christ. Very, very important po. Now, we know something about the promises of God. We know something about the verses, those scriptures that can save people. So, we need to train ourselves. We need to be discipled. Magpa-disciple ka. Amen. Tell your neighbor, magpa-disciple ka. Magpa-disciple ka. You can never stay as a baby. Amen. A 20-year-old baby. May bigot in a baby pa. 
Amen? We need to grow and to mature as a Christian para magamit tayo ng Panginoon, Kuya Biba. Amen? There's another instance here before we proceed, praise God. Verse 38 and 39. Verse 38 and 39, praise God. Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of sins, of your sins. And you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are afar off, for all Hope the Lord our God will call. We are from the Philippines and from Kenya. It started in Jerusalem, Brother Jack. So we belong to those who are a part of. A part of. So the call of God reaches those far away countries. Many, many Filipinos were called. You know why? Because the Lord will use the Filipinos globally. You know why? Almost all Filipinos speak English. Amen. So this is our kumaga, transmitter. Brother Jack speaks English also, so you have the transmitter also to transmit the gospel. Because almost everybody speaks English. This is the reason why Filipinos are smart people. The United States are smart. people are smart also. We are the chosen generation of our Lord Jesus Christ. And don't disqualify yourself. Amen. Pinili tayo ng Diyos. Amen. Pagkatapos ikaw may lagkoli ka dyan, warm, warm, warm ka dyan. Be on fire. You are chosen. Tell your neighbor, you are chosen. Be on fire. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We are chosen. Di ba napaka? Wow, I'm chosen. Maganda. Maganda ka sa Panginoon. Amen. You are handsome to Jesus. Tell your neighbor, you are handsome and beautiful. You are handsome and beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, bakit kanya ng tao mo? Mukhang you're not convinced. <laughs> we are beautiful in the eyes of God. Ano sabi ng Lord? How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news in the mountains. Amen. Your feet are beautiful. Amen. Oh. Your feet are beautiful. Ay, walang manicure yan. Beautiful yan. As long as you preach the gospel. Amen? Praise God. So get ready. We will do the baptism today. Amen. Amen. Let's close in prayer before we do this. Praise God. Alam ko naman, alam nyo na itong topic na ito. This is just a review to us. Lord Jesus, we are preparing our hearts to refill again and to receive again the power and the baptism of the Holy Spirit today. It has been one year already, Lord. So, Lord, every year we are doing this to refill our spirits with oil of anointing, with oil of power. In the name of Jesus, and we are all ready to receive, Lord. Send us your Holy Spirit today. We will receive again the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. Amen. Let's all stand up. Praise God. Ayusin po natin mga chairs aside. Let's put the chair. Praise God. One by one, we will receive again the power and might of the Holy Spirit.